Hey Sneak Peekers, it's Ali and I am so excited to bring you at Lily Singh's premiere for her new film, Doing It. Yeah, we're actually here with the University of Texas, a student, yeah, yeah. we're here a student-run organization. Um, I saw you co-wrote, you produced, you're starring. Can you just tell me what it was like, you know, having so many hats in the game as you were making the movie? I'd love to hear that. So stressful. <laughs> it was so stressful. Uh, as someone who is also a control freak, especially coming from my background where I created my own content, I'm very used to editing my own stuff, producing my own stuff. Every aspect of it I was involved in. And then you do a film with a creative team and you're like, so, so you have a note? What was that? A, a note? I don't. So it was really stressful, but I learned so much. You know, I am very humble because it is a first, for, for a lot, a first producing, first co-writing. You have to kind of take a step back and be like, okay, I, I should be kind of called out and checked sometimes because a lot of people on this team are more experienced than me. Some of my cast are way more experienced than me. It was a very humbling experience to learn from them and, and you know, Take notes. <laughs> this film just sounds like, we've talked to the producers, some actresses, you know, it sounds like it's such a fun comedy movie, but it sounds like it has some messaging behind it. Like, what do you hope audiences take away from this film? Totally. I hope the conversation that starts is about how we treat girls and women, especially as it pertains to shame around sex. You know, um, my upbringing was, I never got the talk. I barely had sex education in school. I had two hours and my gym teacher was like, nah. um, and I think a lot of people can relate to that. But I think it wasn't until I reached full-fledged adulthood where I was like, wait, like, why am I so ashamed of my body? Why do I feel so uncomfortable about this thing? Why do I feel shame around topics that other people feel so empowered about? Um, and I really had a lot of unlearning to do. And so if I had a film like this growing up, I do feel like I would have just been much more comfortable and healthier as a person. So that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to empower women to be like, make decisions that serve you. Unlearn all the other stuff society's downloading onto your brain a little bit, you know? I'm so excited to go see it. I'm so excited and for you. I've been following you since the YouTube days. Like, um, our final question, you know, we are students. A lot of us are graduating soon. Do you have any advice for students who want to make it in this industry, you know, women who want to make it in this industry? I do have some real advice. I do. I'm going to look right into your soul and your eyes when I say this. And I'm sure you've heard this many times, and I'm going to say it again. Um, especially if you're a woman, especially for a woman of color. It's already hard enough to be anyone to get into this industry, especially for a woman, if you're a woman of color. It is so immensely hard, and I have learned that there's gonna be times over and over again in your career where you think for some reason it's gonna be easier. Oh, I got this show, I got this role, I got this. I made it, I'm at the table. It's a lie, it's all a lie. It is continuously hard over and over and over again, and then when you make it, someone's gonna question you again. Then when you make it, someone's gonna devalue all over again. So the advice I have, now that that sounded very bleak, the advice I have is, the number one emotion you have to have is dedication and passion to this. And if you can honestly ask yourself, is my level of passion 10 out of 10? The answer is yes, you'll be just fine. But if you for a second feel like it's not, you gotta, you gotta rethink that because your passion has to be stronger than every challenge that'll come your way because the challenges will keep coming. That is the best advice I can give you. It's like, there's been days where I'm like, this is really hard, but I just wanna do it so badly. You gotta have that latter part, you gotta have it. You know, being a film student, I completely resonate with that. You know, there's always hurdles and there's always something, especially being a woman going into film. Like, that was genuinely so beautiful. Not to flex, but subtle flex. <laughs> my, my mentor, Dwayne Johnson, flex. Ah, flex, flex, flex. But I will say, he's even told me that in his life, his level of success, he's like, the challenges never stop. You're never going to reach a point in your career where you're like, no challenges. I've made it now. Even though It's continuously difficult and you have to be continuously dedicated and passionate. Oh gosh, thank you so much. We're so excited for you and like I can't congratulate you enough. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Yeah, it's so great to meet you. Thank you so much for watching Sneak Peekers. I hope you enjoyed and make sure to stay tuned for the rest of our awesome red carpet coverage out of South by Southwest this year.